welcome to my channel or welcome back either way thank you for clicking play so for today's video i wanted to drink just kidding <laughs> but really i also wanted to um utilize my bar cart and um kind of make some specialty cocktails um this it is just an excuse to make a drink and maybe a, a little tipsy but if that is something that i want to see then just keep watching <laughs> Oh my god, I wasn't recording that entire time. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start off with making a margarita. Um, I follow this YouTuber, Angie Belmar. She's literally amazing. But she makes like a specialty... Oh gosh, I'm gonna break it. She makes like a specialty margarita. And I was gonna make that, but I also realized I don't have basically any of the stuff that she had. <laughs> so I am just going to use what I have on my bar cart and what is in my fridge. So we of course have Patron tequila. Gotta have tequila. And what, what? So close, always so close. Okay, and then in my fridge I have bubbly, lime bubbly, very appropriate. Probably get two of those. Um, lime juice and an actual lime. I think that's all I'm gonna need. I have salt, but it's like the super granulated or whatever it's called salt. So I don't think I'm going to ram my glass. Um, I think I'm just gonna cut up the lime and put it on the edge. Okay, so I have my glass. Sip, of course it's already done. What did you expect? First we need ice. Okay, so I'm realizing that this glass is pretty small. Not that I need a giant margarita, but I would like a substantial, uh, more than a sip. <laughs> Crack myself up. I would like more than a sip of a margarita, but I don't want like a giant glass. Ugh, I'm just so picky. Okay, so I guess first we'll do the tequila. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. My eyes are watering. So I actually hate tequila. Um, I can only drink it if it's in margarita form. So taking a giant sniff of it was a really bad idea. Okay. I also don't have a shot glass. So I'm just gonna like eyeball it. Is that a lot? I don't know. I feel like it's a lot for this glass. Okay, putting my cap back on that. Very cute glass though. I will uh, definitely be keeping that. Okay, next up we're gonna use the bubbly. I'm obsessed with bubbly. Beachy dubs. Fun fact about Jill that you didn't ask for. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna fill it up with the rest of the bubbly. Oh my God, I can smell the tequila. <laughs> I need like actual like measuring things. Okay, I'm gonna add some lime juice in there. I'm gonna add a lot. Oh, oh. It's like one drop, two drops. The whole bottle! Okay, I think that was a lot, but. Mm. Okay, next up I'm going to do like a like a squeeze lime in there and then put one on the rim. Do you have to wash a lime? I feel like you do. Okay. So we have the drink. The ice is literally already melting, so that's a great sign. I'm going to put a squeezed lime in there. And then, oh, I need to cut my lime. Oh, what is this, amateur hour? Now I'm gonna put my lime on here. Oh, we're gonna put it. Okay. Overall, presentation, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, now I'm gonna try it. I'm scared. <laughs> Okay! 
stop. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I like that. It's masked by the bubbly and the lime juice. Actually, I could use a little bit more lime juice. the turtles. <coughs> yeah, actually, I do not mind this. It's not like, I, mean, I wouldn't be selling it as like a specialty cocktail for like $12, but I would pay like $6 for this. You can barely taste the tequila. And I feel like there's a lot in there. So go me. Mm. Mm. Honestly, I'm very proud of myself. I didn't think I would do that well. I had zero faith in myself. Look at me now. I'm a bartender. Give me my license. Pay me minimum wage. Here I go. Okay, but we are not done. We have one more cocktail. I feel like anyone that is not from the South is going to think this is very gross, <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. So I have Jim Beam Honey Whiskey, a hint of sweetness. And I also have these sparkling ice classic lemonade things. Okay, so honestly, Rachel and I, we were at a bar on Big Island. Nothing you need to know, but we had a drink. And I think it was like a spiked Arnold Palmer basically is what it was. So I'm going to try and recreate it. Um, I literally don't think anything else was in it except for whiskey and lemonade. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling that margarita. She's a lightweight. Okay, I need another glass. I feel like we should just keep the Ray Dunn trend going and go with my queen flute. I know it's for champagne, but Today it'll be for whiskey. But first, ice. Okay, oh my god, if my camera is tilted, I'm gonna be so freaking pissed. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, actually, please don't, please don't roast me. We have our queen flute. First, we're going to add Jim Beam Honey, real honey liquor infused with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Sounds intense. I'm scared to sniff it, but you know I have to. Ooh! That actually smells like good. How dare... Who would have thought that whiskey actually smells good? I thought I had this before, um, but I think it was the um, Tennessee Honey Whiskey, not Jim Beam. Okay. Once again, just gonna eyeball it. I mean, I guess that looks right. I don't, oh, it smells, that smells good. It smells like I'm about to sleep very well tonight. That's what it smells like. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do like a little bit, not a little bit of lemonade, but like, oh gosh. I need to put more whiskey in. That's what I'm gonna do, just like. Okay, definitely need to use a straw. I feel like this is the drink to use a straw with. Oh, I swear there was like a fruit or something in the drink. I I feel like lemon's too obvious. I feel like there was something else. I need like a grapefruit or a pomegranate or a papaya. Just kidding. There's not a papaya in the drink. All right, mm, I need a new straw. We might have to add more whiskey. So I want this to be a little bit more strong. I feel like the other one I kind of like diluted with the bubbly and the lime juice. Um, but this one I kind of want to like taste the honey. Taste the whiskey. Okay, cheers. Oh, that is so good. Oh my gosh, I just got chills on my legs. Okay, I feel like I need, like you could literally, you can like taste it, but you can't taste like the alcohol, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm just made it too strong. She's done it again, ladies and gentlemen. I need a tiny splash of lemonade. Boom. 
Who is she? Bartender Jill. Just kidding, I could never. Okay, honestly, presentation? <laughs> Seven out of 10. Only, be only because the uh, cup is super cute. Taste for the Tennessee whiskey uh, spiked Arnold Palmer. Um, I would honestly say like 9.5 out of 10. Only reason I say not 10 out of 10 is I feel like it's just missing something. I don't know if it's like just like a splash of another flavor or like a little like fruit in there, kind of like the margarita. But I approve. I approve of both drinks. Do I have to drink both of them now? <laughs> No one else is home. I feel like I should, I mean, I don't want to waste them. I need to make a charcuterie plate. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> okay, honestly, please look at this charcuterie board. I literally have um, one thing of crackers um, and two separate types of meats and then of course two drinks for myself. <laughs> Honestly, I just need something to fill my stomach while I drink my um, specialty cocktails. So I am going to do that and while I'm doing that, you better like and subscribe. Okay, bye.